I noticed a lot of uh, ground up. They're trying to make it look more like uh, retail on the outside, you know, putting in the fake windows and stuff. And I, I know, I know operators are doing that because the uh, demographics of the users are typically um, a higher percentage of women and they like the nicer looking facilities, but at the same time, they're trying to keep the municipalities uh, happy because the, you know, the older self storage kind of looking stuff with the big fence around it and the single garages, uh, you know, I don't want to say they're an eyesore, but they're not as beautiful as you they can't be. You can't build a, you know, a 50,000 square foot brick building and put no windows on it or even fake ones. Everyone will think it's a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> up, up his windows. And you touched on a pretty important part on, you know, both sides of the table. So the first side is, kind of this NIMBY movement or the not my backyard movement. Right. So people don't want to see these eyesores, these old school first generation facilities, you know, class C or class D facilities. The second piece is typically the municipalities will have some type of aesthetic guidelines that they would like you to follow to kind of match how the other buildings look in the area. Um, so what we do it is exactly what you described on these ground up builds. Uh, we typically make them look like class A office building. So you wouldn't really know their storage unless you obviously looked at the windows and see all those fake rolling doors, you know, <laughs> newsflash, those aren't real units. <laughs> uh, and that helps, that helps quite a bit. So not only get it past kind of the initial zoning and, uh, you know, planning committee, but also once you get to the point where you have, you know, open public hearings and the public is allowed to come and voice their concerns. If you show up with these beautiful, you know, what we usually do is come up with these giant three or four foot, you know, printed cardboard displays that show what it would look like, you know, all the beautiful landscaping. And right. sometimes you put like a little public area for people to walk around or sit in. Then they start to kind of, come more over to our side and realize that it's not going to be some gravel facility with, you know, concrete block walls and barbed wire fencing. That's not what we put up. Yeah. Mm -hmm.